Mr. Hector Hernandez on the guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Another beautiful day to be a raider. Draped in the silver and black. I represent the shield. I represent the swords. It's that time of night again, Raider Nation. And you come back. Why? Because it's time. Time to bring them. What's up, Raider Nation? I am the Commish, coming to you live from Hardcore Challenge Live Studios. Deep behind the enemy line, this is Raider Reaction. A little extra special show on a Thursday night. A little Raider Nation ricochet, as I may happen to have. A special guest with me in studio. Yeah! Raider Nation! It's me! It's your captain! Gonna blow you out of the water! <laughs> so, uh, happy Thursday? Happy Thursday! It's been a while. You know, yes. we, have, we haven't spoken. No. It's... We haven't spoken. And again, I say this to everybody out there. I do not watch my buddy's shows during the week because I want to be fresh on my takes. It's not because I wouldn't enjoy them, but if I know what he's already talking about, it, it, it kind of taints what I want to, you know, talk Absolutely. about as well. So here's my bud. <laughs> be sure you guys are watching every friggin' show you can. And oh, by the way, I'm going to plug myself here. Yes, I really plug am going to get my friggin' podcast developed real soon. So when I do... And when I do, and when I do, I'm doing movies too. Like All right. if you do, I will let you guys know. But make sure you are plugged in here to Raider Reaction with the Commission. And when I'm here with it, that's a double CC show. Commission, Captain, Captain, Commission. It's awesome. It's Thursday. It's going to happen. So again, yes. my buddy, yes. good to see you. Although right. I missed the event. I missed the great, great event. He was just telling me about it while I was over here. I missed... The movement of a helmet yeah. from the kitty table. But I told you, unfortunately, I was so happy. But yeah, I, I was it's happy. It's not unfortunate because I was happy because the freaking cats. Like, it's it's like teachers, what side of the head do I want to get no, shot no, no, in? No, 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 no. That's See, what it's like to me. Okay, got it. <laughs> I, okay, I'm from Philly as a kid. If anybody, and again, I don't root for a particular team, I root against. I root against. That's what I'm talking but about. if anybody was going to win the Super Bowl this year, thank God 
Yeah, I mean, it was the Cheatrits, it was the Eagles. I liked the way it shook that out. Guy. I did. I did like the way Brady had the chance to win it all, and it was his ass that fumbled and blew it. It was. It was real poetic justice. I ain't gonna lie. You get your <laughs> dynasty on a bullshit fumble. Yeah. You lose it's ended, on a, a bullshit fumble. There's a good fucking chance they do not get back. They, not not all the way back. They they're we'll probably see. a playoff team because their yeah, division well, they, sucks. They, they play in the AFC least. I said it correctly. AFC least. The worst in division. In front of there. You're guaranteed five wins a five, season. Five wins within your division guaranteed. The Jets, they the Bills, lose, and the Dolphins. Right. They Come usually on. lose once to the Dolphins. It, it, it just works. They it just alternates around. Yeah. Somebody's going to yeah. get the win that year, and the rest right. of them are going to fucking lose. And and so Ugh. that's five wins. And then the other wins they get is because they are the Reftriots. Because there is another team in the NFL that's called the Reftriots. They're yeah. a subjunction of the Cheatriots. <laughs> They're the guys in the striped suits that are supposed to be unbiased, but bull crap! They're, they're, uh, they're in pocket. They're in pocket with freaking Billy sweatshirt and Tommy Rice cakes. That's, that's right. for damn sure. Okay. That's and, for and, damn sure. and while we're here, because you haven't seen me in a while, didn't it just gall you to watch the Super Bowl? And who was the head referee, Mr. Index Card himself, Mr. Gene uh -uh, Sterator? And again, to you, to you, Gene, <laughs> I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it because, again, I'm within SEC guidelines, okay? I'm within SEC guidelines, but this is for you, Gene. You're number one to me, you mofo. <laughs> They don't still with yeah, that. He got, it's like he got rewarded. It's yeah. like he got rewarded for um, uh, for screwing over the Raiders. That's right. Yeah, but you know that's yeah. that's the way it is. You still notice that Walt, Walt Coleman has never has never refed a game with the Raiders. Definitely not in Oakland. Now somebody might mm. be able to 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 look at that. He may have, and I still think the answer is no. He may have refed a game. Involving the Raiders, not in Oakland, but I know for a damn sure Walter Coleman has not laid foot on Oakland Alameda turf since the Tuck Rule. I can guarantee you that. And in fact, I don't think he's repped anything that involves the Raiders because they, they probably have an angry uh, lynch mob. No pun intended on the lynch mob, by the way. An angry lynch mob going after his tuckus. Yes. As well. And by the way, guys like, hey, because it's been a while, I am I am coordinated. I got my salute to service hat on. I got my salute to service crab tree on. And we're going to talk about oh, we're going to get into crab too. tree. We are. But first, let, before we jump into crab tree. Before we do. The biggest news, the big obviously, news. is the Janikowski news. Yes. Uh, 18 seasons as a Raider, and we're not going to be bringing him back for number 19. So, the, the Polish cannon, number 11, sadly, is is done as a Raider. And I hope he graciously I hope retires. he's done oh my as God. a pro. I do Don't Tim Brown me. No. Please. No, no. I, I, my heart can't go through another one of those. I, <coughs> you're going to end up a freaking cult or something stupid. Please, don't do it. It all depends upon... If Jano wants a paycheck. Now, Jano is very capable. But, and let me say this, he's not the kicker that we drafted him to be. Janikowski, if you look at his stats amongst the last several years, have been going down precipitously. He is not even, he's like maybe 50-50 on the long kicks. Yeah, he's... Maybe. He's okay. not what we, what, the, what the weapon he always was. No. He's not anymore. And everybody has this, you know, obviously emotional ties to him because he's the, you know, he's he's Al yeah. Davis era. He's you know he's hey. a Raider. He's the leading scorer. He is the leading history. scorer for the Raiders. By the way, and you guys can hit on me all you want, okay? And I will prove that you are wrong and I am right, okay? All you guys that are saying that Janikowski is a Hall of Famer, uh. No. He's not a Hall of Famer. Inside joke. He's not. I, I, I missed that one. <laughs> Who is that, by the way? Is that Tony Tony Homo? Who is that? I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> I, you, you will. Janikowski, fantastic kicker. Okay? Hall of Famer? No. Go look at... There are several kickers 
that have been even up for the award. There's actually only one true kicker in the Hall of Fame, and that's Jan Stenerud. Okay? Yeah. George Bland is there, but he's there as a hey, kicker hey. slash quarterback. quarterback. Lou the Toe Groza, one of the greatest kickers of all time. But Lou played, I think he played tackle. So he, mm. he played another position. Jan Stenerud is the only true kicker in the Hall of Fame. And he deservedly is so. He he waited uh, not quite as long as Ray Guy, but they finally got him in there. And, of course, Ray came in as the only true punter. There are plenty of other kickers out there in the annals of the NFL. Statistically, Morton Anderson comes to mind straight up. That if you're going to put a kicker in there, Morton Anderson should go in yeah. straight up right now. Okay. Well, here's, here's Geno, a question for you. Geno's not Ge a great Raider. Definitely a, for the for the Raider uh, Hall of Fame thing that they should have in the new stadium in Vegas. Definitely going to be in yeah. the Ring of Honor, but not a Hall of Famer, guys. I'm sorry. A great you don't guy. Think. No, you don't think. No, nope, no. Nope, nope. I, I, I have. I, I can't say I, I don't agree with you. I, we have a sentimental attachment to yeah. Jano, and that's because... Because we're Raider fans. We're we Raider know how fans, great he was for us. You look at the stats, man, and it takes a lot to put a special teams guy in. Yeah. A lot. Do you realize Ray Guy just got in within the last few and years? Ray Guy is the greatest He's the player greatest of freaking, all time. the greatest player at his position right. ever. And it, he just got in yeah. decades after retiring. So it's it's not going to be easy for Janikowski to get in. I'm it's not and again, not. I'm not hating on Jano guys, but remember, the captain, being the old bastard that I am, I know a bit about stuff that a lot of you don't. A lot of you don't, okay? Look it up. That's all I say. Google it. Google GTS as they say today's thing. Google that shite, okay? <laughs> is that what they say? GTS, man. I'm Google. not that hip. Okay, well, I'm, 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 I'm a hippo, Granny, just like, you know, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Um, okay, I'm telling you, Morton Anderson should be in if you're going to put a kicker in. Love Jano to death. Really nice guy, by the way. Did I, did I ever tell you about meeting Jano on a, on a Sunday right before a game? We actually the the we were we were at the at the Hilton. Mm. We had breakfast at the Hilton, and then we saw Jano leave the Hilton. And we're going down his direction, and uh, he he pops into the to a uh, like a little Mickey Mart store down uh, off of Hedgenberger, and the, the guys that I were with, you know, they were like kind of you know busting on him, you know, I, I, getting his autograph or something like that. I wanted to leave the guy alone because again, this is game day. Don't mess with yeah, the guys that are playing. But it. he was very very cool to all of the people that were with me. So again. This is after he settled down, and there was a lot of, you know, when Jano went, first went to the Raiders, you know, he uh, obviously had some issues with some stuff, yeah. and he wasn't, the, he wasn't the greatest guy, but when he got married, when he had the kids, when he had the family, he settled down. Great guy, good guy, and, and again, good things to say about Jano, but you know what? He's not our kicker anymore. No. And with this affords us the opportunity to get to the modern NFL where you live and die with a possible mediocre to the good to be average, better than average kicker. The, the kicker and paying that's three that's times. Just, yeah, and paying, look how much money we'll save. Paying three times what the average league uh, you know, salary yeah, is for, for yeah. a, a good, above average kicker. He got a wonderful parachute, man. He dropped from $6 million to $4 million. Four million out the door to do nothing but watch. Hey, I like four million dollars to watch all the games. Give me that contract. Giorgio was not the answer. No, he, he was a nice story, you yeah. know, that he finally got a shot, but he, and, he didn't make the most of his right. shot, unfortunately. Props and, to Giorgio for having his heart in it. You know, all of the times that he was there in training camp to be the extra camp leg, and he finally got his his dream was to kick for the Raiders. Okay, local dude, kick for the Raiders. It. Got got on the roster. Good on. Okay. By the way, okay. For anybody that, and I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give ten seconds on this because you bastards usually look at Google for this. Okay. Anybody that within the next, okay, I'll even give it fifteen. You got, you got something to time this. Okay. Well, I can count Any to anybody that can <laughs> can tell me who the off. punter was before Ray Guy in the next fifteen seconds, I'll, I'll hook you up with a shot the next time I see you. I got my I've got my watch. See see if anybody gives an answer, okay? Because I know I, because I told you I'm I'm old. I'm old like that. There's five. 
Okay? <laughs> okay, look it up. Okay? There's 10. Did anybody say anything? Nope, nope, nope. There's 15. I'll even give you an extra five seconds. Anybody, anybody call beat the captain. Okay, there's 20. No, nope. 25. I'm going to say it at 30. I'm going to say it at 30. And 30. There, there you go. Look it up. Guys by the name was Jerry DePoister, number four, was so horrible. He was so horrible as a punter that when John Madden went and did his drafting for and, and talking about between the offensive players and the offensive coaches and the defensive coaches, this guy was so horrible that everybody had a unanimous choice. They said, we're going to take Ray Guy out of Southern Mississippi as our number one pick. It was unanimous across the board that he was going to be the number one pick because the poison like was sucked so, bad. so bad. Okay, <laughs> so now, this is my segue. Mm. Now we will have to live with who is going to follow Janikowski. Remember, before Jana was on the team, they had uh, they had Michael Husted was there. Mm. They had um, the other dude, um, uh, uh, the, the, the 49er. Uh, uh, he, the other kicker, yes. yeah. Uh, again, that's because we've been spoiled having Janikowski for years for, for so okay. long. Yeah. I, so, uh, oh, Joe Nedney. Nedney, Nedney, Joe Nedney. Nedney. Damn it! See? I, was, it was like I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I was thinking. Okay, that. but see, this is this is the modern NFL. We're not spending four million dollars mm. on a kicker. We're going to spend maybe seven hundred fifty thousand dollars on a half good, at on the a good best kicker, on a good kicker. Okay. There's no reason to spend that much money. On, on a freaking no, it kicker. wasn't Jeff Jagger. Good good guess there. No, Jagger was further Jagger further was, was further back. back. Really good guy as well. But it was Nedney and Houston were the two kickers immediately before Janikowski. I have a stack of Jagger cards I dug out. He's a friend on my uh, yeah, Facebook. he's a friend on I, Facebook. I, I, really I should, good guy. I should hit him up and see if he wants a stack of because I mean, what are they worth? I mean, they're well, give me one. I'm gonna have him sign it when I see him. <laughs> anyway, but again, reality. Love Jano. Great for 18 years. Time to move on. And here's the other thing, guys. Remember, Tavecchio was there because he was a left-footed kicker, okay? We don't have to use a left-footed no, kicker. No, where we got decided this was a rule that the Raiders have to have, have a lefty. left-footed kicker. No. What, what the hell? We, we don't need to have All a lefty. All the kickers before Janikowski, look it up. Uh, amazing. They we need right to bring guys kicker. in, and we need to try <laughs> guys out. Yeah, points are too valuable in the NFL to, to go out there and half-ass it with a half-ass kicker. Bring somebody in. We, you know, there's no reason we can't bring three or four guys in. Yeah, have a goddamn free for all. Who's the best? Go out there and show us what you got. Win the damn job. You know that, that's really what we need. We need somebody hungry after it at kicker. It's there's two it, field goals are too damn valuable to to have. Somebody out there who you can't rely on. And by the way, looking back this year, okay, which games would Janikowski have won for us? Maybe one, maybe two. Yeah, it wouldn't. He wouldn't have made a huge difference. And okay, Tavecchio because he missed the point at the San Diego game, and I was there. Okay, sorry, Los Angeles Chargers again. There, yeah. I, I always they have no, they have no goddamn okay. identity. <laughs> he, uh, Tavecchio missed the point in Oakland against the Chargers. I was there. Okay. Maybe that was a game. Okay. But don't, I, I, I can't even think of another game that was that close yeah, they where Jano was needed. Okay. Get yourself a new kicker. Yeah. I, I agree. I agree. Now, the the other big story this week has been um, the, the rumors flying around about the reports of Gruden saying he's going to make the most out of having Crabtree. And which would lead you to believe the most getting the most out of Crabtree would be what would, you know, obviously getting the most out of him on the field. Now is he playing cloak and dagger and he's meaning the most out of him on the trading block? Remember, Crabtree you never is know. still signed as a Raider through next year. He got a big contract extension, what, two years ago, okay? Well-deserved, by the way, okay? Yeah, he's, he's the best damn set of hands we got on the team, is my opinion. He is, he is. Bar none, Crabtree is our best receiver under contract right now, okay? Now we're going to start throwing out the, 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 the scuttlebutt. That's a Navy term, by the way. The rumor control is, was Crabtree... A locker room cancer and it goes back and forth between 
was it Crabtree that was the pain in the ass? Or was he a pain in the ass because of what was going on in the locker room based on Del Rio mm -hmm. and his staff? So it's, you know, it can go either way. I don't care what the story was because that's OBE, man. Overtaken yeah. by events. Del Rio's gone. The staff is gone. If he's on board he with wants what's to going play, on now, if he wants to play, new slate, he's there. Okay? And that is the most important thing. And that goes for a certain running back. And we'll talk about him, too. It yep. goes for a certain running back wearing number 24. It goes for a certain offensive tackle wearing number 72. Yep. It goes for anybody, a certain anybody, wearing a certain number. As I've said before, if you're not playing... Excuse me. Listen. If you're not... On the groove train, your ass is out yeah, the door. What do you care how these how you got along with the guy that doesn't even work there anymore? Del Rio's gone. He's not coming back. It doesn't matter how you interacted with him or how these guys got along with him. It doesn't matter. If they get along with the new regime, then there's no reason they can't stay. I so you know it, we'll find out I think who the real problems are and Everybody was saying, oh, as soon as the time comes, we're going to know who the cancers were. Well, the time's here. Yeah. And the heads have not been falling. Yeah. You saw one. And that was, that. If that, that Stevie Wonder saw that one Yeah, coming. and it's because <laughs> why, why pay why pay a guy a, a roster bonus when you know that he ain't going to be there and he was a uh, uh, iffy guy that last ex year? That experiment was over. The Amerson experiment was over. He had to go. Okay. He had to go. And, and I think... I honestly think we're gonna go number one at the corner again. I think we're gonna go number one at corner. I I, I don't know. know why. I have I a know. feeling that we're gonna try to grab the the other book into uh, the other probably. kid from Ohio State. Maybe. Yeah. Well, or the he, kid he, from Iowa. You in Iowa? <laughs> Wonder why? He's biased. Maybe. He's biased. He can't even spell Iowa, and he lived yeah. there for years. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, Fair he enough. can spell Iowa. Okay. That was a slam, and it was here. Here, yeah, well, good. The, the, the kid from Iowa, the kid from Iowa, is a good cornerback, but I don't think he's at, at number nine or ten. It depends on. Uh, hey, remember all that you guys that are thinking draft. Okay, couple things you need to know again because I'm old. Er, I know shit. Oh, I said the S word. Yeah, I broke it. It's it's in May. Okay, it's in May. The draft is in May. <laughs> Anybody that is listening to what. Anybody is saying right now, don't listen to it. It's all BS. Nobody says what they're going to do. Oh no, it's all before the draft. Everything's clickbait and bullshit right now for Nobody. the next two months. They're gonna draft me. They're, I, I'm sure it's on a board. Captain Jack's gonna be the, the yes. seventh round pick because they said it. And thanks for playing. You're gonna be Mr. Irrelevant. I'm gonna this be year. a rebel. I'm irrelevant anyway. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't matter what people say now because you're not going to get anybody that says what they're going to do because it's all cloak and dagger stuff because, God forbid, you give up any, yeah. any words of wisdom as to what you're going to do. See, I seen somebody mention it, Captain. Let's segue this into our next okay. topic. So I seen somebody mention it. Um, I can't what about, see your comments. What, so about, um, what about going number one for a big-name running back? Well, a big-name running back means... Big money, typically. Who who asked that question? Josh. Josh. Josh Pemberton asked that question. Yes. Hey, Josh, how you doing, Mr. brother? We got to talk. Pemberton. Okay. Good question, Josh. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say two words. Actually, I think I've said this before. Mm. The only running back, and I might even have to amend this. The only running back that I want in the first round is a gentleman out of Penn State by the name of Barkley. Yeah. Okay, if he falls, he okay? won't be there. He's not going to be there. No. So the other question is this: because we're talking draft, okay? Everybody and their grandmother, apparently, allegedly, again, apparently and allegedly, they want a quarterback. All of these teams that are sitting above the Raiders, they need a quarterback. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to get one, even if they get one. And this for, is for the Broncos. Even if the Broncos. Get one via free agency because I can see that because the Broncos can't 
can't grab a a, a quarterback that's young. Yeah, Cousins for the is still button. hot there, but you know I've heard a lot of I've heard a lot of rumors of Cousins at the Cardinals too. Yeah, I've, I've heard. I've that heard too. it's that's more you know hot what? than the Broncos. You now. know what? I think Cousins is either going to wind up in Arizona or Minnesota. By the way, and I tell you, mark I tell you my what, words. I, I you told what. you all. I fucking write it down when I told you a long, long time ago. And he you, will be the highest paid quarterback in the league when that some bitch gets signed. And the other thing is, is that th- th- get this name for the Broncos. Case Keenum. I bet you Case Keenum is going to be who they eventually wind up with because the Broncos are not going to pay what Cousins wants because Elway is a a cheap, lazy bastard and he doesn't want to pay too much for a good quarterback. He's going to get Case Keenum because Case Keenum is going to be within the inventory of what they want. And they're still going to get a quarterback in the first round. So they're going to have Keenum plus a kid, whoever that kid might be. Could it be Allen? Could it be uh, Baker Mayfield or, or you know, whoever else they think? A lot of people think it might be Baker Mayfield. But Cousins is going to wind up in the NFC because he wants to stick it to the Redskins yeah, I don't every think, opportunity he I agree. Gets. I don't think he's as interested in the Broncos as the Broncos may be interested in him. Yeah. Now, in the uh, stand with the running back. Running back. Okay, I'm beast sorry. Beast mode. Saquon Barkley is the only guy I want in the first round. And, be, and beast mode, again... If Beast Mode wants to be there, I'm sorry, I'm 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 no. just tearing up tearing up your thing. If Beast Mode wants to be there, oh, I'll talk over you if I need to get okay, in. Don't, don't you okay, worry about I'm me. Sorry. I'm fine. I'm assertive enough. <laughs> that no, that he, he's, he needs to work on his interpersonal skills. Okay, <laughs> no, my if, interpersonal skills if, suck. If Beast Mode wants to be there, it's up to him. And I said this before as well. I don't know whether the guy wants to be there. Okay, first I off, the people he, that said that he missed all these rumors one way. Yeah, you mean he, hear rumors yeah. they've already met like three or four times. Uh, How the hell bunch, do you know? That's a bunch of BS, uh, man. Like okay. maybe passed in the in the freaking hallway. So, yeah. So. Yeah, that's so, probably so, that's probably so, about so, as much as yeah, they met. Yeah, you want some skittles, man? I got some skittles. I got some skittles in the locker, man. Okay. Don't don't listen to any of that stuff. Again. I am a fan of Beast Mode the latter part of the year, and that's on. Well, the field. Let, let me let me on throw this field. out there on for the you, field. Captain, because I I, I broached on this uh, earlier in the week. Just think, say Beast Mode was getting stronger as the season went on. Yeah. You can't tell me that if the Raiders were not in the playoffs last season, if they were in the playoffs, yeah, Beast Mode was getting better, and that you were going to see vintage Beast Mode if we got yeah. deep into the playoffs. I would he was, bet my freaking house on he it. He was working himself into yes, shape. Yes, absolutely. And the other thing is, is that there were there were actually uh, some people were writing that he didn't really know the playbook at the beginning of the year. Okay, again, these these are uh, not, I'm not I'm not saying anonymous writers, but there were writers that saying that he actually had to learn the playbook. At a later time, and he was starting to get more and more of the playbook. Yeah, so his offensive was, coordinator sucked. Well, his, okay, you know, that didn't yeah, help anything. Here's, here's, the blocking here, scheme was terrible. Here's the playbook. Uh, incomplete, incomplete, incomplete punt. Okay, here, no yeah, fullback for you. Yeah, the three okay. and single back the whole goddamn season. No, no. You know, they, they did everything to not help the guy right. succeed. And he still had a half-ass DC year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, again, for, uh, for in answer to your question, Josh, the only running back I want in the first is the, by the name of Saquon Barkley. Now, here's the other thing. I love Sony Michelle, and I said that as well. Penny out of uh, San Diego State is another guy that would be good. I'm hearing a lot of good things about uh, Darius Geis as well mm-hmm. from LSU. LSU guys scare me. I, I, That's I, I, will, be the, I will be the first guy. To, if, you're, <laughs> if you're from LSU, man, I swear you scare the living bejesus out of me because I, I don't remember... The last guy from LSU, other than um, the the kid that plays a uh, uh, safety for the Cardinals, um, what what was his name? Uh, uh, w- uh, Wonder Badger or whatever. Oh, Honey Badger. Honey Badger. Yeah. yeah. He's the last guy out of LSU that actually is is making himself worth worthwhile in the pros. LSU guys. Just don't pan out. Okay? That's where the boat anchor came from. The fucking seventy million dollar boat anchor. <laughs> dun dun dun, Jabustus Russell. We tied our franchise to a big fat fucking lazy boat anchor, and he drugged the whole thing down. And and, and what what school did he play for? 
Yeah. The losiest state LSU. university. Okay. Again, <laughs> nothing against guys personally. I just I don't I don't want to go there, man. I don't want to so go I, there. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Zoe the beast Michelle, the return of beast the mode. Bon, the, bon I'm Barker. a big fan of beast mode returning this season. Yeah. Beast mode is very, he's economical. He's cheap. His contract uh, is incentive laden. He is uh, he's somewhat know, inexpensive at for a number economical? one. Economical. Six million on that contract? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. know. I don't know. He's he's a great back when he has his mind to it, okay? But at six million a year, I don't know about that. I don't know mm -hmm. about that. I like I said, six million dollars to beast mode, that's me. I'm a penny pincher when it comes to this. We got plenty of room. He proved to me he had it to take, <coughs> and I, I would, I would have, uh, I would have hitched it to him in the playoffs. And he, he was about to show you vintage beast mode if, okay. if we were going in there. I honestly 100 percent think that he was getting better as the season went on. That I agree with. I, I agree with. And I think you were going to see him get better in the playoffs because that's where that's where he got the damn moniker. You know, was was what he did to teams and would grind out wins in the playoffs. So I just I I give him A pluses on effort for for the entire second half of the season. Okay. Yeah, I'm not Great. sure. I'm not. Great are you sure six million? Because six million seems awful lot. Because I know this year it was only like it was four million plus some incentives. This year. This year it wasn't look, that look much. It up. Nah. It wasn't that much. You guys out there, look up the contract. Go to SpotTrack.com. Okay? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was that much. Go for to SpotTrack.com. I think, I think, and again, I, if I know it, I'm going to tell you. But I believe that his contract for 2018 is six million. That, now that might be maybe four million plus incentives. I think that it really is about six million bucks. I don't think because he was. It was. A, I'm, I'm almost 100 percent positive. It was a little over a million this year plus incentives. I don't know what he ended up getting, but we'll, we'll look that up. Somebody fact check Somebody that. SpotTrack.com, man. That's the con that is where you need to go for all your contract needs and worries and and information. SpotTrack.com. Check that out. Otherwise, I will look it up and uh, we'll, I'll have an answer for you tomorrow. Cause shit like that bugs me. <laughs> He'll tell me. You said you were wrong, Captain Jack, and I'm like, okay, well, I was wrong. Yeah, because I'm I'm pretty sure I, I think he's cheaper than that. I honestly think he's a quite a bit cheaper than the six million. And and if you if you find out that he's quite a bit cheaper, that changes the perspective yeah, on it, it like a I said, lot. If if you get if you get Lynch at maybe like three and a half, I want to say it's it's more in the two range. I'm on, I'm, and it's very incentive laden because he was he got uh, bonuses at a thousand, twelve hundred yards, fifteen hundred yards, eighteen hundred yards. And he was uh, there was touchdown incentives. They they incentive laden the shit out of his okay. contract. Okay. The the first year and and I swear it was only like a million to a million and a half base. It it was very cheap. I was shocked as it was cheap because I remember discussing it, but I could be wrong. Get back to us. We'll figure it out. At a at a good rate, I'm all for Marshawn because we know that okay. Gruden's going to be able to use Ola Wally because he knows how to use a fullback. Ola Wally can, can be the fullback. He can run out of the backfield. There's going to be plenty of them available. DeMarco Murray might be available on, on the cheap as well. Okay, It all depends on what, how much he wants as of what Lynch wants. And if Lynch wants to be there. Okay, Again, the Raiders have a, a contract to play in Oakland for 18. They don't have a contract to play in Oakland in 19. Yep. I, I'm bet, I bet you this is Marshawn's last year come, come, come or go. In yeah, because we don't know we don't know what's going to happen in nineteen. And right. if you've seen the schedule, I've posted it on the page. I'll post it again probably a few more times. But the construction schedule for is a thirty month build for that stadium, and that has it finishing in July of twenty twenty. Of twenty twenty. And so, if there's one goddamn hiccup in that uh, in that construction schedule at all, you, you miss that date. Now you're talking about another season to figure out where the hell you're going to play, because then you're not going to be in it until twenty twenty one. And the, there's a lot of talk of him being in the the running for the Super Bowl by 2023 20, or yeah. yeah even I think they said 2021 through 2023 yeah so which would be very cool yeah I, I It'd be very it. cool to have a uh, have a Super Bowl to new stadium so um, moving on let's ju let's stick around the offense we'll jump off the running backs for a second. It's been a lot of rumors about the quarterback position. Obviously, DC is our quarterback. We're not looking for a new say, starter. We, I thought we had a quarterback. We're not looking for a new starter. No, he, we got no. a capable guy there. Yeah. But 
Somebody has to back him up, and we know a backup quarterback is very valuable based on what happened in 2016, where the uh, season basically came to a screeching halt because we had nobody qualified. And if you guys him. don't know what a good backup quarterback will give you, you haven't been paying attention to the last month because yeah. Nick Foles was a backup quarterback in that spot, although Nick Foles is more of a starter that was playing a backup role. You need a very good backup quarterback. You can win a Super Bowl like Nick Foles. Like Jeff Hosteller, he won a Super Bowl as a yep. backup quarterback for the uh, Giants. You know, technically, this guy named Jim Hawkins. Yeah, technically, Tom Brady was a backup a quarterback who won his Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm telling you, yep. it, it, look it up. It's true. Yep. And Go Jim ahead. Plunkett, Jim Plunkett came in when Pastorini busted his uh, ankle, knee, one or the other. Led the team to a wild card for wild, wild card, card team to win the Super Bowl. And and but and yeah, of course, history. he's and not Hall of Fame worthy, though. Of course, no nah, man, don't even get me I mean, started. You know. on that. man. Oh, oh, by the way, him or his coach and his his yeah. what three Super Bowl rings that he has? Yeah, but one one not as a coach or one was it two two as a coach? Two as a coach, one as a one as an assistant coach. assistant coach. Yeah, yeah. so he's got three. Mm -hmm. Plus, he played. Yeah. You know, you know, just starting quarterback in the league. Al yeah. Davis's first <laughs> first starting quarterback for the Al Davis regime of 1963 and on. And was a minority. Who was, who was number 15 but, before Crabtree? But gentlemen, but, but by the name of Tom Flores. In the Hall of Fame. No. How about how about we stick Tom Flores in the goddamn Hall of Fame while he's still alive? Yeah, would that, that would be nice that the guy could actually. Enjoy the fruits the of his ceremony? labor yeah. and actually be there. Yeah. How about we not Kenny Stabler, the guy? Uh huh. You know that would that would that would be nice. And while we're talking, a big <laughs> shout out to the Villapiano clan. That is another man that, that needs... should be getting to consideration. Get your get your uh, get your hearts together. Get your writing together. Make sure that Phil Fu. Villa Piano is in your thoughts and prayers and dreams and make make that crap count. Make sure he gets on the ballot for the uh, select committee for the veterans for next year, 2019. Get yeah, we're trying. in the Hall of Fame. We're trying. We've tried. We've been trying on the page. Now, I, hold on. I got a shameless plug we got to do here. Shameless plug. We are obvious, um, on the page, Raider Reaction, Madden Challenge for this offseason. We've got a, several spots still left, so if you want to get in the league, message the page. We're playing on PlayStation 4, Madden 18, um, over $800 in prizes if you win, prizes for division champions, prizes for making the playoffs, prizes for the runner-up. So make sure you get signed up, message the page, we'll add you in the closed group, and that will secure your spot. It's a $50 buy-in. We're not taking any money until we get the league set up and ready to go. We're going to start the first weekend in March, so please get... Your spot secured. We're going to dedicate a show every Sunday to the league, and uh, you know we're going to live stream games. We're we're going to make it as fun as we can possibly make it over the next three months, and, and it'll I might even I might even watch those shows because I don't have to worry about getting you know content. I might want to see who wins between all you guys that say you can play. I can't play a lick. So don't don't say get uh, Captain Jack and I know I don't. My play. my skills are debatable as as you guys know. His but, son his son's really good. <laughs> yeah, my son's good, but you know my my skills are debatable. But get in there. What well, we're dra we're, it's a it's a random draw for teams. You don't know who the hell you're gonna be. So uh, we're gonna do a live drawing for the teams for everybody's in the league. Listen, we've got enough guys in the league now that if I don't get the damn thing full all the way, we're gonna do the league anyway. I don't care because this is the first time we're doing it and we're gonna do it again next season. So. This season, all you guys that didn't sign up, you're just gonna be sitting there for the next three damn months and be like, "Oh, I should have signed up, man. I could have done that." That yeah. looks like fun. Yeah, it is. I wish I would have done that. Shit, and then you're gonna see the guy that wins, and he's gonna get his framed Derek Carr autograph jersey oh, and his wow. money Frame and Derek and, and, cool. and, and yeah, like eight hundred dollars in prizes to win. I mean, <laughs> for fifty bucks, three months of entertainment. Yeah, and you're playing the damn game anyway. Yeah. So I mean, what the I, hell? I might, I might actually <laughs> have to learn how to play the game. <laughs> so it'll give us some, you know, give us some football there and some go. competition. Yeah. Through the time when we got Jack going on, so message the page if you want to get in, and uh, we'll, we'll get it set up. So, remember, Jack is going on because Jack is right here. Yes. All right. So back to the quarterback position. Because I don't Back think, we, I don't think we, we, we ever quite finished that. No, okay. And here's the thing, okay? We do need a backup. 
There's rumor control. Yes. There's rumor control. It's There's clickbait time, guys. Clickbait. Don't believe it. Kaepernick. No. No. Manziel. I tell you what, if Gruden no. wants Kaepernick, great. But I, I, I ain't buying it. Okay, Manziel. You this guys, Johnny Manziel you, talk you guys, is. You, first off, Manziel needs to get himself straight. Okay. Gruden loved Manziel. Got it. Understood. Manziel has to get his sock or his shite in one sock, his socks together in the drawer in the same color. And he's in a spring washed. league. He's getting ready okay. to play in the spring league okay. in Dallas for like, what, the next three, four weeks or yeah. something? It, I it, mean, yeah. It's, 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 power to him, man. But you know what? Until that happens, you know, I personally have no problem with EJ Manuel. I don't either. EJ Manuel. And Cook, I'm still, I, I, my verdict's still out on Cook. He got a raw deal that season, getting thrown yeah. to the freaking fire. When he was not ready, and I have not seen enough of Connor Cook to get this, to give him an honest year. assessment. This is the year for Connor Cook, because I'm telling you, who the Raiders sign as a backup, it's gonna Gruden's only gonna carry two quarterbacks, folks. It's gonna be Carr plus one. Okay, Gruden does not carry three quarterbacks. Okay, and I said this: that roster spot is more important to John for somebody else. This training camp, if Connor Cook doesn't show anything. Guy's gone. I'm telling you. It's a good you, possibility because he didn't bring him in. No. So he's got he's got no vested interest in him. He he it, it's not his guy. And it, yeah, if 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 he goes out there and he's not impressed, you're gone, buddy. The, the the quarterback that is the number two quarterback, and I said this before, that's a Gruden guy. That's the guy that Gruden believes in. He believes in Derek Carr. Don't don't get me wrong. He believes in Derek Carr. But he believes in somebody that's going to be able to grasp that system, a Rich Gannon type that has the brains, the ability, that can throw the ball, and has a grasp of that playbook. If you don't know the Gruden playbook, man, you ain't going to be there. So the number two quarterback is going to be a Gruden guy. It could be a guy like Josh McCown if the Jets get rid of him because that's a Gruden type of guy. He knows the playbook and can play. Okay, I'm not saying it's going to be Josh McCown, but don't be surprised if it's somebody like that. It's going to be a vet that knows the playbook and can play, okay? And that's why I don't think it's going to be Kaepernick, and that's why I... No, I don't Manzo, think it's going to be Kaepernick. Okay? I don't it's, think... going to be, it's going to be an old vet, man. He's not, going old to vet. he's not going to draw that media circus into a new team. He, yeah. he's, he's way too smart for that. Gruden's not going to do that. No. It's it, even if he did think Kaepernick was a talent and could, I, I just don't think he'd do that. I, I, it's, I don't think so. it's it's a bad PR move for a new guy coming back, you know, trying to make your splash, and um, yeah, I I don't think so. Watch, guys, you guys can tell me I'm right. And the Manziel right. talks just insanity. Uh, that's that's uh, clickbait. Ah, oh, come on. And it's it's all it's bipolar. That's his whole problem. Mm. I did not realize, realize being a be spoiled rich brat was a fucking condition. <laughs> it is if you if it is if you can say quantifiably through through a doc. Hey doc, man, I need a condition. Okay, yeah. I'm spoiled. I got yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, you I got a silver spoon stuck in your yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah that's I your problem. Too much, <laughs> and I have too many girls throwing their <laughs> at yeah. me. But I need to have a disease. Oh, bipolar. Yeah, let's check that into. Yeah, yeah put that bipolar. and sign it. Okay. My yeah, I, I got your bipolar. It's called alcoholism. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Get yourself a chip. And a twelve step program. And by Get the way, shit together. by the way, I am not I am not poo pooing bipolar. I'm not No, it's a condition. Are, for folks that are truly bipolar, my heart goes I, I my brother has issues. He uh with schizophrenia and and, and uh what do you call it? The the, the uh uh, Asperger's. I I am not poo pooing mental health. Okay, well, but Johnny Manziel yeah. is not bipolar. Okay, if it's legitimate, he ain't hell bipolar. No, of course not. Okay, the only thing bipolar about him is how many how many bills he has in his wallet that he says that he can't doesn't have any because he wants you to buy his drinks. Yeah, Johnny. Johnny football. Johnny football. Big man on campus. <laughs> yeah, whatever. There's your there's your bipolar right there. So. Big free agents. What, what's what's on your wish list for this season, Captain? We, we, you know, there's a, there's a lot of talented guys out there on the free why, agent market. What, why, why don't you why don't you show me? Give me a, give me a wish list, and I'll I'll throw off some names that I would like personally. Oh, what uh, position? Position. Go, go positions first. Give me a couple, and I'll tell you who I well, like. Well, wide receiver seems to be an interesting <laughs> position. And now, but this all depends on if we got Cooper and Crabtree. Do we even look at a free agent wide receiver? Yeah. Yeah, you can uh, you can always upgrade. 
Hey, if you got Crabtree, and I tell you, I want I want Cooper in the slot so bad because Cooper is your slot receiver. He's been miscast. As a guy on the outside, you put him in the slot, man. He's gonna his routes are so bang, precise, man. man. That guy runs great routes. Yeah. And that's one, of, and and those are the kind of of quick short plays that he needs that confidence, man. <laughs> he's got the gips. <coughs> he's got he's he's got he's got to get over that. And the, his hand problems, it ain't got shit to do with his seven pounds he put on. His whole problem with his hands between his head and his hands. Well, he he did get too bulky though. Yeah, but I don't think I can't say that has anything to do with his hands. Uh, no, but but I I think that it was mental in the fact that he bulked up, and then he thought, well, maybe I'm too bulky. That's why I ain't catching the ball. See, one does show. Yeah, it's show something got in his some got in his let head. Him, let him slim down, get back to where he was. Not, I mean, not be toothpick slim, but I mean, slim some of that bulk down, and because he's we're got he's got seven the speed. Pounds, though. I, you it's know not what? A lot. Then, then trim down three. <laughs> then trim down three, and then say that you hit it. You hit it in half. Yeah, there you go. Cooper's good to go. Okay, we need somebody on the outside again, providing Crabtree is there. Because if Crabtree's not there, that throws the whole everybody out. that I, everybody I keep seeing uh, Landry. Everybody throws out Landry's name. I just think Landry's, Landry's way too cost expensive. Way too. Much, He's looking man. for that big paycheck, man. This is one of the few times in his career that he can possibly go out yeah. and get paid, yeah. and he's going to get paid. And I don't think we have we don't have the pockets for that. I don't think we got the pockets for that. It. Man, who I despise almost the most, said it well. Mr. I'm not a Raider Randy Moss, when he said, cash money, homie, pure cash money. And that's what Landry's looking for. And yeah. yes, I can't stand Randy Moss. Well, nobody can stand Randy okay. Moss. He's a piece of garbage. He is. So again, <laughs> Landry, no, I, I tell His you, mama don't there, like there's, there's, a, there's plenty of, you know, and I said Terrell Pryor's on the market, and, he, and, and he'd be a guy that I would go after because he's, He's got the ability, he's got the length, he's got the speed, no. you know, and he's not going to cost he's gonna, an He's going to be leg. cheap. Yeah. And, but I, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice feel-good story. Yeah. Bring him back, you know, a guy. But you, one of, you can't deny that he's gotten progressively better he has, as a wide receiver. But, starting but, him to, now, the last year was, was, was here's a Here's what it comes down to me, though, because he's not better than Cordero Patterson. Is he better than Seth Roberts? Because it comes down to me, is he better than Seth Roberts? Because if he's not better than Seth Roberts, then do we need him? I'd, I'd still want CPAT on the team. I think there's so much untapped potential with CPAT. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. I want, I want, I want him, CPAT. Coop, and Crabtree. Yeah. So where does... it? That's, that's, so that's where it comes down to. And you know he what? You're not, gonna like my, you're not going to like my answer. I'd take Pryor over... Over, uh, over, over Roberts? Yeah. I'd I take Pryor know. over Roberts. I don't know. That's a... Uh, that's a tough one for me. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not sold on Charles Pryor as a wide receiver yet. And I like. I like Roberts because again, he catches a touchdown. We're going to win the game. There's he nothing does. I don't not like about Roberts. But he he, he just, got he should have took the step this he year. Got he got paid didn't. and regressed. Yeah, he didn't take the step. He got paid. This should have been his. This should have been his year where he took the step forward and yeah. became a, a much better wide receiver. And eh. Josh Gordon. I see somebody throw out Josh. Oh Gordon. my God! You need to you need to submit yourself for a year analysis. <laughs> okay, I don't know who said I, that. If listen, if I seen a year out of Josh Gordon where he he walked the straight nowhere for a whole damn year and he was producing and he was the man, I would think has, about it. But I haven't seen even, that. He hasn't yet. even been back a year yet. No, I haven't seen no. a consistent there, track record of recovery from him yeah. to say that that you know he can stay he can stay off the, the weed. A, a Stephen Smith said it best, and I said that correctly. A Stephen Smith, A S S. Get off the weed, man. <laughs> Get Nick, off you got the a weed. small window of opportunity in the NFL. Put the pipe down. Yeah. Play your career. Make your money, and, then and you, you can, can smoke, smoke weed the rest you of your want. goddamn life. You yeah. can fucking toke it up all day long, because you're now, you, ain't you ain't done made anymore. it. That's right. Ricky Williams So you that. only have to walk the line for a very short part That's of right. your life, and you can do whatever you want the rest of your entire life. Get my off God. the weed, man. Put it down. I, I'm, Never. I don't get we, it. We need another wide receiver. I want, I'd like to keep CPAT. Okay, honestly, I oh I, we got to keep him. I want to keep CPAT. The, uh, he's too versatile. I mean, and, we were mixing him in the running game. His, yeah. his, his returnability on reverses and end around. The guy is he's he's so he's so yeah. 
Yeah, and, and you know what? You can use we don't need any. We don't need any free agent offensive line. We got enough people there that are stars already, and we're going to kick off the guys that that aren't. You know, bye bye, uh, old boy at right tackle. Um, uh, that that fumbles in, in the yeah. Miami game. Oh shit! Uh, Marshall yeah. Newhouse. Yeah, so, yeah Newhouse. Bye, Marshall. Thanks. Hey. Wonderful part and gifts. Get uh, down. You, okay. You're a lineman. You get okay. the ball and get on the damn we ground. Got, we you got, don't got, run kid, with the we got kids there. We got Vidal <laughs> Alexander, okay? We got the kid from Florida, Sharp. We, Sharp, got, yeah. we got Ware, who's a project. We got enough young linemen there to see what we got. We don't need any more broken down old linemen. Somebody's going to come in and play left tackle eventually. Who's it going to be? He might be on our team now. Supposed to be sharp. We'll see. We're going to draft one. We don't need no free agent offensive line. Okay, so get that out of you. The only free agents we need is possibly at receiver, uh, maybe a running back, but we're still going to draft them anyway. Okay, the free agents we need play what position? What side of the ball, there, Kamesh? What side of the ball do the free agents we need? Defense. D. Defense. First Does one it, being Navarro Bowman signed that bastard. Need, up to, now. need to sign Navarro Bowman. What do you think about Bruce Irvin? I've heard rumors that he's going to be gone. I wouldn't mind seeing Bruce back, but I can see us moving on as well. Because Bruce, to me, was another guy that I thought this year really should have took a big step forward, and I don't think he did. I like Bruce Irvin, but I'm not in love with him. Okay, uh, it's kind of it's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't if, mind seeing him back if if he plays great. But if he if, left, if, eh. yeah. I, I can do – it all depends upon we do need a pass rush specialist in this draft. There's plenty of people available, okay? You get somebody on the opposite side of Mac, and oh, by the way, you need somebody up the middle that can push up the middle. You get somebody up the middle that can push. You get somebody on the other side of Mac. That's all you need, okay? I mean, there's big free agent names out there at defensive end, at defensive tackle. I mean, you've right. got – you got Ezekiel Ansoff from uh, Ziggy Ansoff, huh? Yeah, yeah from I, Detroit. I pick up Ziggy. In you the got Don Terry Poe from Atlanta. No, I, I no, I don't want Don Terry. Poe. I, I'm not selling him either. But now Ansaw, on I, the other hand, Z, Ziggy Ansaw has got you stick him on the work, you stick him on the work. other end of Mac. Oh yeah, Woo! I take I take Ziggy in a second. He's actually worth the money. Yeah. Malcolm Butler at corner is that is that anybody you're interested yeah, in? At corner? Yeah, yeah, I, t- I take Malcolm Butler. At corner. I, I think I think he'd be a quality pickup. Yeah. We need a little depth. Obviously, we got rid of Emerson, but I honestly think I think we're gonna go uh, one of the top picks at corner this. Well, season. Not, I don't, just I don't know why. Pick him in the first round doesn't mean we're gonna get a good quality corner be in in rounds two or three. No, we're gonna we're gonna get a good corner. Yeah, we're gonna get a good corner. Uh, now that is where I would pick up a good free agent worth the money, Malcolm Butler. Is somebody I would definitely look at, and I tell you what, there would be nothing finer than putting Malcolm Butler in the AFC Championship. I know I'm I'm kind of speeding ahead here, but the, in the AFC Championship game against a certain Cheetriot team, and Malcolm Butler will play his ass off for it because there's nobody he wants to beat more than the Patsies, and that would be a great corner to have, kind of like the. Uh, and I'm not saying he's a Michael Haynes clone, but it's like it's having having uh, somebody from the Patriots mm-hmm. come in and beat them would be great, you know, a la Michael Haynes. Malcolm Butler, I'd take, I'd take a flyer on in a minute. As long as he's not overpricing himself, I don't think he will. Now, I think he wants to go to a good team at a good price. Malcolm Butler would be a, a good cornerback uh, pickup. Throw him on the other side of Gary and Conley. And by the way, I yeah. want to re-sign T.J. Carey. The, I do too. I, I kid, want to see Kerry back. The kid's local. He's from Antioch. You can't he wants dump to, everybody. He wants. He You've got to keep play. some. He wants to play, and, and I, I, I'd re-sign Bowman. I'd re-sign T.J. Carey, and by the way, I'd re-sign Danico Autry. At the first, um, oh, for sure, Autry, yeah. absolutely. But the first half of the season, T.J. Carey was the best damn corner on the team. It kind of switched to Sean Smith the second half of the season, but T.J. Carey had some had some pretty solid games at the at the first part of the uh, season. <laughs> so I, I agree. We, we need him back you know and uh with Emerson gone we just need some depth and I don't know where they're gonna go but if it's gonna be well, draft remember, free Hamil- agency Hamilton's already there as as a depth body he's been yeah. on the roster for a couple years if the kid doesn't get it by now then you know okay there's your depth there's your depth corner okay mm-hmm. Hamilton um and, and there's another corner whose name escapes me back there. Like I said, Dexter teach, McDonald. Yeah, there you go, McDonald. So you got you got your depth right there between uh, Hamilton and, and I still McDonald's. I still think you've got Obi and uh, Shalom Lawani, who are kind of could be hybrid corners as well, and in certain packages can be used differently because yeah, you know. So I I think we've got 
we're a lot more gonna, depth yeah, we, at we, defensive we, back than a lot of people give us credit for. Right, and I said, and at linebacker, if you re-sign Bowman, okay, you got a lot of good good talent that's ready to break out at linebacker between James and Lee and Bowman. You know, there at linebacker, you know, I think we we're pretty good there. You know. Kowser, Kowser's kind of like that tweener that can He has some flashes. And, you know, he has some flashes. He's, he's not a starter, but you know what? He's not bad. No, he, he, he's, he's good to fill for in that. Come in and give a guy a blow for yeah. a player or two. Or, oh, watch that. Watch that. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> not that kind of <laughs> Give a guy a break, okay? Yeah. A or, break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, this yeah. is a family show. Um, no, it's <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, getting back to the point, we, we, like I said, the Raiders got good money under the cap. Okay, obviously you're going to give a, a big chunk to Mac. That that's to be expected. Okay, oh, resign yeah. Bowman, resign Kerry. Get get if you can get Autry in there, I'd love to have Autry back. I think he can Draft get Autry in well, there too. Maybe maybe get a receiver depending upon if Crabtree's going to be there. If Crabtree's going to be there, good on you. Bring CPAT back. I, I, I mean, he's on he was on a one year, so we need to resign. You CPAT. got two. You got a whole new regime coming in. Yeah. So we have a talented team. Uh, I don't th I don't think it's you don't you we don't have to reload. Right. They, you just need somebody else baking. Baking dinner with the groceries we already got. Yeah, that, that's all you need. We've got the groceries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think we need to go shopping for a lot of extra things. It's we're ready to go. It's now our roster ain't complete by no, any there, stretch. There's holes. It, there can be like I, said, I think, and normally I think that they said that a turnover in roster by uh, by the numbers is usually between about thirty three to forty something percent. Anyway, okay. That's going to happen. That's about the the norm in the NFL. Okay, so one third of your roster is going to turn over anyway. Okay, got it. Those are the guys that we knew we were getting rid of anyway. Okay, got guys like Nelson, guys like uh, like the possibly Urban, guys like uh, again Janikowski's gone. Okay, we need we need a we need a long snapper too. By the way, you know what that means? It means we're close to being that. That means we just we ate up the whole damn hour. It's over already. I talk too much, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> But we got we went through a lot of info. Absolutely a lot of info. Quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers. Janikowski's leaving. There's actually a lot going on. There for, is, there for is. Being it, February. It's, it's the off season, the off but it's season. never the off season with the two double C's, man, Captain and Commission. Make sure you keep loading up to see us. Absolutely. We're, we're not we're not going anywhere. We're right here on Raider Reaction five nights a week, Monday through Friday. 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. And tomorrow, you know what tomorrow is. Every Friday is Black Friday on Raider Reaction. And we will have the Silver and Black Theaters. We dust off another Raider Classic tomorrow night. So make sure you tune in tomorrow as uh, we got we got another gym picked out for you. So you can have a Raider victory on your Friday night. I like Raider victory. Hell yeah. So, we're out. Are we? We're out. Dude! We'll be back together soon. In the studio. Ah! Yard from Captain Jack. We're out. Peace, love, Raider Nation.